dear students in the chapter of forced vibration this lecture is about an introduction to vibrations due to support motion i dr balraj singh brad from yadavindra college of engineering talwandi sabo india am presenting the lecture in the design problems where the support is moving or the problems of support motion we divide the problems into two types types first is where the we note the absolute motion of the suspended mass or the vibrations absolute vibrations of the mass with the reference to a common datum in the second problem we measure the relative motion of mass with respect to the support or the base and or relative vibrations of the mass in the problem of absolute motion in this figure it is explained that let a mass m is supported by a base and be through a spring having stiffness k and a dashboard pot having damping coefficient c now this base itself is vibrating along the vertical axis and let we have taken single single degree of freedom of base as well as single degree of freedom of mass along the vertical axis let the base is vibrating and we note these vibrations in relation to the common datum and let the equation of vibration of base is governed by small y which is equal to b sin omega t where b is the amplitude of vibration of base and omega is the frequency of vibration of base now when this base is vibrating this results in the vibrations of mass about again about an equilibrium position when at suppose at time t the position of base is y the position of mass will be at x governed by the arrow let at x will be of the type x is equal to a sin of omega t minus this phase difference of phi minus alpha we will be deriving this equation in the next lecture here for understanding the difference the equation has been written now we are in this relation of absolute motion of mass a is the amplitude of vibration of mass m omega is the frequency of vibration of mass which is equal to the frequency of vibration of base and phi minus alpha is the angle by which mass will be lagging behind the motion of base and the system how we note this uh, x vibrations is we attach a stylus to mass m and we get the plot of vibration along on a plotter which is rotating uh, like this and plotter is rotating about an axis and is attached to the common datum so we are getting the motion of mass absolute motion of mass with respect to the common datum now going to the problem of relative motion the figure is same again the base is vibrating about equilibrium position with the same equation y is equal to b sin omega t but how the figure is has changed is now the plotter has been attached to the base so this plot which we are getting is the motion of mass m with respect to base or with respect to support or relative to support and this relative motion is at a time t 
when base is at position y, the mass will be at position small z, and the equation of small z will be small z is equal to capital Z sine omega t minus alpha. So capital Z will be the amplitude of vibration of mass, which will be different from absolute motion. And of course, frequency is equal to the base frequency of vibration omega, and it will be lag lagging by certain phase difference, which is alpha. So this is the uh, schematic of the two types of motions, how we note these. In the first case, we note x vibrations of mass, which are absolute vibrations. In the second case, we note z, e equation of z, which is the relative motion of mass with respect to base. Now, equation of absolute vibration due to sport motion. Again, the same figure we have taken. Now, base is vibrating with equation y is equal to b sin omega t. So, here base is vibrating along with time t and amplitude of vibrations is b. And because of these vibrations, mass will vibrate and those vibrations are noted with respect to common datum means we are noting the motion of mass, absolute motion of mass, x is a sine omega t minus this phase difference of phi minus alpha. So this will be the vibration of mass. This may be a vibration of mass with amplitude a more than b or less than b, we can control this amplitude of vibration. And this motion of mass will be lagging behind the motion of base or support by a phase difference of, this is the phase difference of phi minus alpha. Time period for both the base and the mass movement is same t is equal to 2 pi by omega because omega angular frequency of vibration of both the systems is the same. Beforehand, I am telling you the relation between A and B. B is the base amplitude, A is the amplitude of mass, absolute amplitude of the mass and this ratio is termed as displacement transmissibility. Suppose how much base was vibrating, displacement in base, then Ax is giving or amplitude A is giving the displacement, maximum displacement of mass and we will be deriving this equation in the next lecture. So A by B is in the numerator square root of 1 plus 2 zeta omega by omega n this terms whole square where omega by omega n is the frequency ratio omega n is the natural frequency of spring mass system zeta is the damping ratio and in the denominator we have a square root 1 minus omega by omega n square and this whole term is square plus 2 zeta omega by omega n this whole term is square. So we have got a relation which gives us the amp absolute amplitude of vibration of mass m when the base is vibrating at an amplitude of b and with the frequency omega. So this problem, this relation is basically used to solve two types of problems. Kindly visualize that. This is an automobile. We are making suspension system of an automobile. M is the body of the autom automobile. 
से कार और अ बस और अ ट्रक एंड दिस स्प्रिंग डेम्पर सिस्टम इज द सस्पेंशन सिस्टम ऑफ द ऑटोमोबाइल एंड थ्रू दिस द बॉडी इज अटैच टू द बेस बेस इज द चेसी ऑफ द ऑटोमोबाइल and chassis is having the wheels attached to it and is riding over a terrain so see and with certain velocity v velocity v lets us if velocity is increasing frequency of vibration will be increasing and so because of the terrain ter 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 different terrain the base will be following certain movement chassis will be following certain movement this will result in the absolute motion or vibrations in the body so the if we know this relation of displacement transmissibility we can control different parameters and we can reduce a to a, the minimum level to provide comfort to the riders of the automobile one will use this relation of absolute vibration due to sport motion for the solution of problems of design of suspension system of automobiles this is one of the applications second application is say this mass m is our instrument an instrument and it is supported through spring and dashboard to a base suppose base is base is subjected to certain vibrations from surrounding environment certain vibrations are coming displacement vibrations are coming to the base now what is the requirement is we want that base may be vibrating but our equipment or instrument should not vibrate or even if it is vibrating it should vibrate with a small amplitude basically we want to isolate the vibrations from base to the mass this is a problem of vibration isolation in this we are controlling displacement we want that if y is having amplitude b then x should have amplitude a which should be very very less than b so this is a problem of displacement isolation so two types of problems of design of suspension systems and vibration isolation in which displacement isolation we will be doing we will be solving those problems using the relation of displacement transmissibility and this concept now coming to the second type of sport motion relative vibration due to sport motion we are discussing the equation as i have told is the base is vibrating with equation y is b sin omega t b is the amplitude now mass is vibrating but on the plotter we are getting the movement of mass with respect to base so the movement is denoted by small z small z is the relative movement of mass with respect to base when at a time t the base is at y the mass will be at small z small z is equation is of the type capital z sin omega t minus alpha this we will be deriving in the coming lectures and so plot of vibration relative vibration of mass with respect to base will be like this now amplitude will be z and frequency will be same time period for both will be same and it will be lagging behind the base motion mass motion relative mass motion will be lagging behind the base motion by a phase difference alpha and 
the equation which gives us the ratio between amplitude relative amplitude of vibration of mass to the amplitude of vibration of base as z by b is equal to in the numerator we have omega by omega n square omega by omega n is frequency ratio and in the denominator we have square square root of 1 minus omega by omega n square this whole term is a square plus 2 zeta omega by omega n whole square zeta is the damping ratio now this problem is used or uh, this equation is used in the designing of instruments suppose this base is resting on certain machine and machine surface is vibrating so as base is attached to the machine surface base will be vibrating with equation y is b sin omega t b amplitude and omega is the frequency of vibration now we will get this plot and frequent we will note its frequency of vibration so this will be omega which is the frequency of vibration of base or the frequency of vibration of the machine itself so we are measuring frequency by simply measuring this another is we can note the amplitude relative amplitude z and from this relation of z by b once z experimentally from the plotter we have noted we know the frequency ratio we know the damping ratio b we can come to know so by measuring getting the plot noting z noting omega putting in these relations we can come to know about the amplitude of vibration of the machine surface or machine itself so in the designing of vibration measuring instruments we will be making use of relative vibration due to sport motion or z by b relation which of its derivation we will be doing in the coming lectures now summing up the two equations usage of two equations of sport motion sport motion one equation we will get for absolute motion another we will get for relative motion absolute motion is a by b displacement transmissibility a is the amplitude of absolute motion of mass to the amplitude of base we have the relation z by b z is the relative motion of mass with respect to base and z is the amplitude of this relative motion to the base motion as discussed a by b relation my dear students kindly remember that a by b relation we will be making you uh, using in the design of automotive suspension systems and problems and for vibration isolation where we are isolating the displacement from base to the mass and relation of z by b we will be using in vibration measuring instruments these are further of two types vibrometers or accelerometer which we will be studying in the coming lecture with this the introduction to the problems of or in the design of suspension systems vibration isolation displacement isolation and vibration measuring systems and due to the support motion is complete thanks my dear students